Hey, boy, do I have a really good and simple message for you today. First, welcome to the Iron Podcast, where we answer all the questions about spirituality and inner peace that you ever wanted to ask, and where we discover the secrets of humanity and divinity through a better understanding of both. I'm your host, Sean Webb. Okay, so today, I was reading a quote that I want to share with you now. It's most commonly attributed to Plato. Some folks think it might go back a few years before him, but the quote is, be kind for everyone you meet is fighting a hard battle. Now, if we think about that for a second, stepping back into our existence for a second, you, the person watching this video, if you have watched the first 25 episodes of this podcast, the Body, Mind, Spirit 101, they're available on IamPodcast.com or IamSpirituality.com, resolves to the same web page. Click on the BMS 101 tab and go watch basically about 22 videos that were the Body, Mind, Spirit 101. They explain in scientific terms how pain and suffering comes about, how it's created within the mind, and how you can step away from it. It gives you the exact process within the mind that creates anger, fear, worry, regret, um, all the negative emotions. It goes through how happiness is created. It goes through how, you know, the different types of love, that type of thing. And it gives you an understanding of how that stuff is created. And then also, we talk about the disciplines to be able to shut down the mind and be able to separate from that process so that you're not as affected by all that crap that creates turmoil in our life. Okay, now, you, by the sheer effort of watching those videos and raising your consciousness, you are now more conscious than many of the people that you will meet or most of the people that you will meet on the street. And so the reality of our quote, be kind for everyone you know is fighting a hard battle, you now can understand why everyone you meet is fighting that hard battle. Okay? And you... Somebody must be outside. And you can now um, understand exactly what it means that they're fighting that hard battle. We don't have to guess anymore. What is their issue? What is their thorn in their side that, you know, a lot of people have thorns in their side. Well, now you can understand from the big picture point of view, the 50,000 foot point of view, the whole process that creates thorns in everyone's side, regardless of what that thorn is. So now you can appreciate how everyone that you meet is fighting a hard battle. And so the message there is be kind because everyone is fighting that hard battle. Be kind because everyone is taken in by that mind process that is creating their pain and suffering. You know, and, and if you wanted a translation into today, you could say, every asshole you meet needs your compassion. If you want Plato's version, be kind for everyone's fighting a hard battle. The Sean Webb version is, every asshole you meet needs your compassion. Attribute that to me. Put it on my gravestone. Screw it, I'm getting cremated anyway but that brings to life the message that plato was meaning to convey because he saw the difference between the spiritual existence and the mindful existence he saw the process that everyone had that created thorns in their side he was an exceptionally educated man but socrates and plato both spoke of uh an existence that was beyond self. And the only masters who can speak of that existence beyond self are the folks who have experienced the beyond self and can see the difference between the spiritual existence and the mindful existence. And so what they're saying is, everybody you meet is going to be wrapped up in that mindful existence that we talked about in the Body, Mind, Spirit 101. And you need to be cognizant of that. And instead of treating those folks like the asshole that they are and repeating back to them the negative energy that they're giving you, which then will perpetuate their negative energy, what you need to do is step beyond that whole process and become the compassionate, positive energy that this person may need to turn it around. Whether that asshole is in your family, is it your office place, is it the your kid's school, or wherever you meet this asshole, on the street, cutting you off, whatever. 
you need to take that step back away from the me that's going to be, you know, just jumping to resist this person and to put negative energy back at them and to degrade their existence and call them an asshole so that, you know, you can lower their potential egoic devaluation to match yours that you don't feel slighted anymore rather than do that whole process and become a victim yourself step back and allow compassion to come into existence for that person who is rather than intentionally being an asshole is actually a victim of the whole mind process that creates pain and suffering for them and is the whole reason that they get wrapped up in their me that's what you need to do. That's the path of the spiritual person, the spiritual existence within you coming into fruition, manifesting in the real world, allowing that to happen, pushing your own mindful bullshit out of the way. Every asshole you meet needs your compassion. Okay? So just think about it that way. Next time you meet someone who's being difficult or is difficult or is a difficult person, whatever, their personality trait, it, they're not doing it intentionally. They're a victim of the whole process that we explain in the Body, Mind, Spirit 101. And if you need a refresher, go back and watch the Body, Mind, Spirit 101. You can get there. I am spirituality.com and then click on the BMS 101 tab and watch the 22 videos. They explain the creation of pain and suffering within the mind exceptionally well, I think toot my own horn um but you can check those out at iamspirituality.com all right so just remember from plato's perspective to bring it back up to a higher level classier level be kind because everyone you meet is finding fighting a hard battle and now you can understand how that's true and maybe now you can return some positive energy into the potential for an exchange that could be a spiral of negative energy because we don't we don't want any of that All right hope you guys are having a great week and i will talk to you soon peace